Oh, Lieutenant, I got your species for you. No surprise, it is cat hair. And the fiber tests are cooking. Now, what about you? Have you made any progress? Well, I stopped at the mini mart. Yeah. Pat, can you spare a minute? For you? Absolutely. Are you familiar with the route that Calvert took on the day of the murder? I know every street. I drove it myself. Good. Okay, well, here it is. His office is down here. He's moving north. Right. And this first, this first exit is the mini mart intersection. Moving north, maybe northeast, uh -huh. maybe five miles. You right. come to the murder house. Right. Moving northwest, maybe 20 miles. And this is the church where the wedding was at. The third X. Moving northerly the entire trip. Northerly, but Pat, the mini mart is south of the murder scene. You see it? It is south. South, yes. It is south. Do you remember why he went to the mini mart? To buy cough drops, according to you. And he bought the cough drops after the murder. After? After. <laughs> You're saying that a man commits murder here, right? And then, instead of going to the wedding where people will see him, he can he establish... He changes directions and goes south. To buy cough drops? Right. <laughs> How do you know this? Clifford Calvert buying cough drops. Right. Look at the time stamp, 635, but he was shot 624. Why would a man do that, Pat? Why would he kill somebody and drive five miles in the wrong direction to buy cough drops? That's very strange. It is strange. <laughs> That's very strange. And I don't pretend to have the answer, whether that clock is off or... But at or... the Mini Mart, there were two clocks. The VCR, 635, and the cash register receipt, 635. Both the same. <laughs> I don't know. Well, if they were both off, then I... maybe there was a power failure. There was no power failure, but I checked. You did. <laughs> My goodness, you are a tiger. <laughs> yeah, way ahead of me. Well, this is not easy, but No, 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 it is not easy. And if it was easy, we'd just ask the janitor. Right? Well, I'm stumped. You got something? The only thing I can say at this point, knowing something about forensic psychology, when a man kills for the first time, he can easily go into shock. And Clifford Calvert could have driven south to the Mini Mart, bought the cough drops, and not know where in the hell he was or what he was doing. Wouldn't know where he was. He would not know. Or what he was doing. That's right. Possible. Shaky. Why don't we sleep on it, bud? Fine. Why don't we do that? All right, I'll see you in the morning. Good night, Lieutenant. Patrick, let me ask you a question. If Calvert didn't do it, who else could it be? I... Somebody on that list that the lawyer gave you, I would think. Okay, but let's assume for just a moment that it was Calvert's missing gun that fired the bullet. In that case, if Calvert didn't do it, who else had access to the gun? The help. I would have said the wife before the help. <sighs> You're probably right. I mean, the help, no motive that I can think of, but the wife, she had a motive. Wouldn't she be affected if her husband lost the lawsuit? You would think so. We don't know a lot about her, do we? 
No. No, we don't. That marriage. Is it a good one? We don't know, do we? No. We don't know. You know what I want to do? I want to meet with her. I want to tell her honestly what's on my mind. Get a reaction. <laughs> you study forensic psychology. Why don't you come along? We both take a look at her. I set that up for tomorrow. That'll be good. You and me together, Pat. Three eyes are better than one. Just one more thing. 